Hello, Buzzer Girls, how you doing? Uh, let's have another pick a card, and today is going to be an update on third party. So um, let's keep in mind that third party doesn't always have to be someone else. It can also be, you know, a different focus than just you, okay? So that can be uh, relatives, that could be friends, that could be work, that could be, you know, all kind of stuff, okay? <sighs> Not being triggered, all right? <laughs> I do a lot of triggering thing at the moment, am I? Right, okay, let's move on. So, two powers. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Power number one, third party update. Two of soul. Here you have it. <laughs> Choice between two. Right. Two of pentacles. Holy mother of God. And eight of wands. Hmm, interesting. So yes, there's still uh, a third party. Obviously, whatever the nature of the third party is, right? There's a choice to do to make between two, and someone obviously doesn't want to face that reality. They're blocking their heart. They, you know, blindfolding themselves. However, as we know, that yeah, <laughs> the birds at the <laughs> the moon. Um, the moon reveals what is hidden. So there's a, you know, potential here for the truth to come out. Maybe to themselves or for the, you know, obviously third party, um, if that third party happened to be a person. Okay, so it is maybe an opening to the truth. Okay, as a two of pentacles, of course, is a choice between two again and juggling two people. Absolutely. It can also be representing, as we know, number eight, infinity number. Okay, so that could mean that, of course, we're going to spend Christmas over this or... That your relationship, your connection, or their relationship with whoever that is, is here to stay. However, we have the eight of wands. So this communication coming in, and number eight again. So that could make me think that your connection is the one who's going to last. But let's keep an open mind. Let's not, you know, get overexcited because of communication and because of that number eight. Okay, so let's just breathe. All right, so mm -hmm. someone is getting clarity indeed. Absolutely. So that is wonderful. Let's not fluffing around now. Again, two of wands, holy mother of God. <laughs> Choice between two, yeah. At uh, the same time, is an idea maybe of you. Uh, have You have done your homework. You've done everything you could do. There's nothing more you can do. And you're waiting for the sheep to come back to the armble. That's the way I like to say it. But it's true. It's for you kind of like waiting without waiting because you do live your life. But you know what? If it's meant to be, it will be. That's the kind of mindset you are at the moment. You're not going to, you know, whatever, you know, at the end of the day. Three of Wands, yes, because you know you meant to be. There's an idea of that. Okay, someone is communicating, I can tell you that. <laughs> someone, I, I mean, obviously, you both can see that you are the special someone, okay? And from day one, you kind of, you could see, you know, that's my destination. How to get there is a little bit complicated. There's an idea of three, of course, three people or three, you know, things in the, in the equation. However, it's a very solid connection you have here. It's a pyramid number three. <laughs> so what I'm saying here is um, there's definitely an idea of communication probably on the internet. You know, uh, also that could very much be that that's a cycle that you needed to go through, both of you. And now you're opening a new cycle. They think the world of you, they want to travel to you, towards you and with you and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yes, Queen of Wands, you are very much the center of the attention. There's a lot of ones here and that is a bit of my problem here because I can also see, say that he, he, they only see you as you know, male, female, doesn't matter, as an object of desire, of passion. Queen of Wands, it's the sexiest of all queens. Male, female, doesn't matter. But, you know, she's also very humble, or that energy is very humble as well, very down to earth. So if that person is only about physical attraction, it's understandable, but at the same time, is it enough? It's up to you guys. Um, eight of sword again you know number eight infinity number and it's only the mind that keep you apart do you sell yourself short or do they don't think that they're worth being totally happy and at all level 
for you to think about that, right? Well, I will say that you are about to receive the fruit of your labor because the Nine of Pentacles is someone who really been through a lot. Very resilient, maybe too resilient for their own good. However, um, you are someone who's going to receive, you know, the fruit of the labor, the reward of that investment, if you see what I mean, whether it's, obviously it's emotional here, but, you know, if it's about, you know, work as well, God knows how you're going to receive that message. However, it's interesting. So maybe that new cycle could be a reunion, a proper union, and as well with a lot of clarity. One more. Hmm. Or maybe not. <laughs> Someone needs to really go up. Someone needs to stop hiding be behind themselves. And uh, two-faced, um, very much into, you know, physical uh, attraction, desire, sexuality, all of this. Okay. Maybe they get to the end of the road or maybe you decide this is the end of the road because you know what? I put myself first. You know what? I'm dropping that heavy weight on my shoulder because seriously, you don't go anywhere. Maybe you're the one gaining the clarity. you the one who say enough is enough and you put yourself first. Maybe you give too much and that's maybe what you want to do. You know, go back to you because you're resilient. You can carry on. You've been around, you've done other things, you know, happen, poof, happen, you carry on, you move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. That's the deal. Because at the end of the day, what you want is regaining your power, your stability, you want long term. No fluffing around here, you want long term and you want something anchored. So that little thing compared to that, come on. Mm -mm. Yes, indeed. Karma. Mm -mm. Karma. And as well, you know, it's an idea of purging. I would say there's a capacity, the potential, as you say here, of a reunion. There is a possibility if the person does the work. There is you two being guided. Oh, did I just see the Wheel of Fortune under the deck? Things are about to change for the better. Yeah, there's a rebirth. So... I would say there's a potential here, very much, of a change of scenery. Um, whether you go for your own self and you just decide, you know what, I don't need this. I really don't. Or, you know, that person is leveled it up. It's always the same story with third party, isn't it? Moving on. <laughs> Pound number two, update on a third party. <clears throat> Excuse me by George, obviously. <laughs> right, the Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. <laughs> Holy Mother of God. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Right, okay, so you or them were in a cave. Okay, fine. You had time to think. You had time to really appreciate, you know, the pro and cons and blah, 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 the whole shebang. We know the Hermit, okay? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's go to the juicy part. Now, it's true. There's an open door between you two. There's a way to make it work. And again, eight. Okay, so eight infinity number. So there's no ending. There's a way to make it work. There's new skills. There's a possibility. But how? Which way are you going to go? Just to make it work and maintain you in the kind of like third party, like the one, you know... Um, on the side, it's not really what you want to be. Indeed. <laughs> the queen of uh, sword is doesn't have to be, you know, female. It can be male. It's an idea of like, you know what? Mm -mm. Not having it anymore. And what should you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mug mummy. <laughs> Woo! Yes, uh, things are about to get exciting and interesting. Shaking the boat, indeed. Uh, the way it is or the way it was cannot continue. Mm -mm. Not happening at all. No, because it's unhealthy. It's not going anywhere. It's disrespectful. You know, not happening. Okay. Yes, there is a codependency here. And there is an attachment that is toxic. There is an obsession, maybe a sexual uh, obsession. Has to be sorted. All right then. Oh yeah, reconciliation. And this way, this time, 
in a way that is acceptable. I want to go a little bit deeper than this because I want to double check. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Woo! Straight in my face. Okay, fine. I get it. Okay, I let it go. I let it go this time. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Because together you can definitely, oh my God, be the power couple. Indeed. There's no limit to your success, to your abundance, and maybe, you know, children as well uh, in the future of co creating anything you want, really. And there's a top of the top. You know, you are meant to be, you are a match. So anything that doesn't work has to go. You know, success. Beautiful. That's it. It's not going to be so party for very long. That's my point. Yeah. Okay. Here you have it. Okay. On this note, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.